Here's how I designed general purpose rockets for my KSB fleet that are semi-optimized. This technique only works for two stage rockets where you've selected the engines you'll be using on each stage ahead of time. I'll be going over the design steps with an example rocket. For my demo I'll be going with the skipper engine on the upper stage and the twin bore for the first stage. What we're going to do is we'll start from the final stage and work our way down to the first. You can sort of imagine a multi-stage rocket as a rocket whose payload is another smaller rocket. All right. Let's grab our second stage engine. Now what we'll do is we'll put as many fuel tanks as we can on top of the engine while maintaining a thrust to weight that's greater than a certain minimum value. I usually go for a TWR between 1.2 and 1.5, but you can likely get away with less if you're a good enough pilot. Um, I find my range is a good sweet spot for performance and ease of controlling the rocket though. Also make sure you have the vacuum thrust to weight shown as this is the upper stage. Okay, so here I have a vacuum thrust weight of 1.35 and a second stage mass of 49.120 tons. It's important to note here though that uh, the fuel tanks are just placeholders to simulate the mass of the whole second stage uh, with the payload and everything, uh, so you can ignore the delta V readout at this step. Now that we have the second stage mass figured out, we'll get started on the first stage. Uh, grab a decoupler and your first stage engine. And also don't forget to switch to sea level readouts. And what we're going to do is we're going to add a bunch of fuel tanks between the decoupler and your first stage engine until the thrust to weight for the whole rocket, including the first stage and everything, goes down uh, to the threshold that you set at the start. To get your desired thrust to weight ratio, you may have to play around with the level of fuel in each tank. It's important here though that you keep the ratio of fuel and oxidizer constant uh, because these are the fuel tanks that the rocket will be taking off with. Great, so we have a thrust to weight of 1.35 and our whole rocket mass is 140.980 tons. Now, note the delta V of the first stage, in my case it's 2093 meters per second. To get into low carbon orbit, one needs about 3400 meters per second of delta V, so to make up what's missing, the second stage needs to have 1307 meters per second of delta V. So we're going to go back to the second stage, remember to switch back to vacuum readouts, and what we're going to do is we're going to trade some of the tankage that we set aside as a placeholder for before for payload mass, and we're going to do this until the second stage delta V hits 103,007 meters per second like we calculated, and we're going to make sure that the second stage mass remains constant. There we go, this is close enough. You don't need to be exact with this, it's just to have enough delta V to get into LKO. Uh, here we have 1,316 meters per second in the upper stage and 2,095 in the first stage for a total of 3,411 meters per second. If you're a good pilot, you can get away with less than 3.4 kilometers per second uh, or with a lower thrust to weight ratio or both. Um, so it's up to you. So the fuel tanks that I put above the decoupler on the second stage are stand-ins for the payload. We can see that the maximum payload mass is 26.6 tons, and this whole rocket is designed to go to LKO. So in the end, we have a rocket that can bring 26.6 tons of payload to LKO, or less. Now what you're going to want to do uh, when you're designing a payload for this rocket is making sure that the payload includes uh, control, uh, a way of generating power probably, fairings, all that stuff. Uh, because none of it is included in the rocket. Now I'm just going to leave you guys with a little trick, which is uh, that you can reroute the rocket so that the top decoupler is the root, and then you can save the whole thing as a subassembly that you can just bolt onto any 26.6 ton payload. Uh, so yeah, that's it.